So a lot of people on YouTube, some of them love me, some of them hate me, okay? But regardless of that, they see me mostly in bed all the time. They see me eating out all the time in restaurants, spending $300, $400 a day. <laughs> they see me pretty much make my own hours. I wake up whenever I want. I go to sleep whenever I want. So listen, putting aside how people feel about me on YouTube, I'm going to tell you how I did it. And this is the truth. It's the God's honest truth. Okay. I And I'm not saying to you, let me just be straight. Okay. That this could work for everybody. It worked for me. Will it work for you? Maybe not. Because nothing in this world is guaranteed except death and taxes. Okay. So this is not financial advice. I don't give financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only. What I did was I looked for a number at the time I was living in New York, okay? That uh, a pick four, the lotto. I looked for a pick four number. It was my anniversary. The number was 4905. Now, I noticed when I started playing it, that number did not hit because there's a way you could check. You could go on the lotto website. You could do some, some due diligence. And um, that number did not hit for 10 years. Now, statistically speaking, I talked to a lot of gamblers about this, people who've been playing Lotto for a long time, and uh, the owner of the store who became my very good friend. And he told me when a number, a pick four number, does not hit for a 10-year period, he goes, it's a very, very good chance that it's going to hit sometime soon, like maybe within a year or so. Okay. All right. So... The thing is, I started playing it. Now, I would have played big money. I would play, you know, 50 bucks on it. Nothing crazy. I don't play box because box is, is a very small payout. It's a waste of time. When you play straight, you put $1 on a number. It's a $5,000 to one payout. So to me, I was like, I don't want to screw with box. So I, I'm just going to only stick with straight. So I put like $50 straight on it. Now, I wouldn't, listen, understand, I wouldn't do it all the time because it becomes very hard. But I tried my best to do it as much as I can. I tried because there's two times you can play um, the morning and the uh, and the uh, evening. Uh, normally um, in New York, it's it's different. I think you have up until, if I remember correctly, I think it's like 12 o'clock or and then up to like 7 o'clock. I have to check. It's been a while. But in other words, you got to get in. There's two times to play. You got to play the morning and then you got to play the evening. Okay. So it's potentially, you're talking about $100 potentially a day, right? Because if you're playing $50, you know, straight in the morning and then $50 in the evening, that's 100 bucks a day. Okay, so now, let's continue. I was a psychopath. And I'm not telling you to do this, but I found a way with $160. And I've already had arguments. Many people have been arguing with me online, telling me that this is stupid and it's BS and... Well, it worked for me. I'm not saying to you it's going to work for you. I went to Atlantic City and I was um, playing a lot. You know, I was making money using a system because like I wasn't working a job. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you know, basically what it was is that, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's I was listen, I should say I wasn't working a job. I was working real estate. I made money in real estate. I shouldn't say that. But most of my life, let's just say that I did things my way. Okay, let's just say I never see real estate to me wasn't a job. You know why real estate wasn't a job? Because you you make your own hours. You're an independent contractor. I did make I'm not going to lie to you. I made a lot of money in real estate, um, but it's not really a job because like here's an example. I don't have to get to the office at nine o'clock. I don't have to get to the office at, you know, 11 o'clock. I can, I can wake up anytime I want with real estate, being a real estate contractor. I could start working at one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon. I could, you know, make a couple of phone calls, you know what I mean? Set up an appointment, go sell a house and go home. So real estate's always been perfect for me. But anyway, let's put all of that aside. I never really worked real jobs. I did, you know, from time to time. I was with this company, City Search. That was a real job. That was a nine to five job. I did do that. I did work in Hilton. Um, I was a timeshare uh, sales uh, representative. I became a sales manager. But besides that, you know, then when I was very younger, I worked on Wall Street. I, I pretty much always did what I wanted. I, I mean, I pretty much, you want to laugh, even when I worked in City Search, the point of the job is I had to sell restaurants. 
I had to sell restaurants, you know, um, advertising opportunities. So most of the time I'd be in the, in the restaurants, they'd be feeding me for free because I worked for City Church. I'd be sitting down eating a dinner for two hours. <laughs> Tell me, like, Rich, you want a bottle of wine? Absolutely. Because they wanted good reviews. So they would treat me like a king, you understand? And when I was working even like with, with Hilton, I used to be able to hook people up with like discount discounted rates. Like I even gave my wife's father and her mother, may she rest in peace. I gave them a big suite in the executive uh, lounge. So people used to always treat me great and take care of me. So the, the point is, is that all the jobs I've ever worked, I was still my own boss. I, I didn't answer to nobody. And I was always really in control. But getting back, I went to Atlantic City and I used to do this technique where you would put, you need $160. You would put $5 on zero, $5 on double zero, $5 on number one, red. $5 on three red, $5 on five red, seven red, nine red, 12 red, 14 red, 16 red, 18 red, 21 red, 23 red, 25 red, 27 red. The total bet is $80 on the inside, all $5 chips. Then I would put $80 on black on the outside. So now let me explain to you what this means. If black hits, you get your $160 back. That's it. You break even. You're even, Steven. If any of the, if zero, double zero, or one red all the way to 27 red hits, you get a $175 payout, plus they leave the $5 chip on the winning number. So technically, it's a $20 hit. Okay. Now, I used to do this enough. I swear to you on, on God, this is what I did. And I used to use this money to play the lotto. So in other words, I, I mean, because how is that going to come up? I mean, $100 a day is a lot of money. It's like you throw seven hundred dollars a week, so I use this money from Atlantic City to use money to gamble to to play the pick four, and I did it a lot. I did it a lot. Eventually, I I winded up moving to the Jersey Shore to be closer to Atlantic City, but that's another story because I used to live in Staten Island. I originally come from Brooklyn, but anyway, so you could also do this with black. Like let's say if you feel black is gonna hit. So you could basically play all the black numbers with five dollar chips. You could play two black, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, uh, what's next? Twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, and I believe twenty-six. Right. Because then what will be left? You would have twenty-eight, you would have uh thirty-one, and you would have thirty-three. Actually, I don't think you would play twenty-six. So you would have played in that technique 26, 28, 31, and 33. And then you could put the $80 on red. So if you feel black is going to hit, but you still have to always play the zero and the double zero. So anyway, I'm just telling you, I used Atlantic City money using a bankroll of $160 to make myself anywhere. Sometimes I made $100 in a day. Sometimes I made $200 in a day. And I did it consistently. I mean, it is something you have to do consistently. But I use that money to keep playing to pick four. You can, Listen, this is all verifiable. I don't care what anybody says. I can prove it. I can make you speak to the gentleman that was the store owner in, in, a, in Staten Island. This was right off of, uh, what was it, Princess Bay in Staten Island. The guy's name was Mike. And I used to go there all the time, religiously, every day. And I used to play. $50 here, $50 there. And I pretty much have a black card in Atlantic City to prove I did all of this. So end result is I won. Okay, I hit $250,000 using this two techniques. It was um, a number that did not come out in 10 years. It did not come out in 10 years. A pick four number. And I used Atlantic City's money to fund it. And I hit $250,000 in the New York lotto doing this, which that's it. It's, it's the God's honest truth. Okay. Now the thing is I'm doing the same thing in Jersey. Now I'm trying to hit in Jersey just two days ago. I almost hit another, I almost actually almost at 350,000 because my number I play is four, nine, oh, five, six, nine, oh, five just came out. I missed it by one number. And I think a month ago, four, nine, oh, four what came out because i i'm I'm in a better financial position now where i can pay play more than fifty dollars like sometimes i throw a hundred dollars on the number okay so again i'm not telling you that this is guaranteed I'm telling you what worked for me 
okay? Nothing is guaranteed except death and taxes, okay? This is not financial advice. I am an entertainer. This whole video is for entertainment purposes, but it did work for me.